Good morning and today's challenge is prep the bus ready for going away at the weekend. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is wash, wax and polish the roof, which has not been done since before Christmas, so about three months. So there'll be all sorts of rubbish up there, so that needs cleaning and clean the solar panels. So uh, first job, get the ladders and the steam cleaner out or pressure washer out. That's the... Uh, that's the ladders out and set up. So the next job is jack up Jenny. Uh, because we've got the self-leveling jacks on it, when I want to wash the roof, if I raise just the back jacks, we can uh, get all the water to run off, say blasting it everywhere, which makes it a lot easier. Next job, in manual mode, raise up just the back jacks. So into manual, Press just the back and go and have a look at the jacks going down. That's the two rear jacks going down. And lift all the back end up. There we go. That's the back end up off the floor. So now all the water will run off. As you can see, it's before Christmas when it was done last, so about four months. So it's looking a little bit green with envy. Uh, envy that it's not been washed. So uh, we'll give it a clean off and then a wash. Well, that's the roof in all its glory. Hopefully, as you can see, Mr. Nut is working on it. He is not as bad as I thought it would be, actually. Really? Cons yeah, considering that it's not as bad as I'm I thought. Pretty disgusted. I think it's filthy. It's worse. It didn't last two years while we've had it. Okay, here we are. Gen Mr. Nut doing his job up on the roof. He is. Hang on. See if we can extend this a bit further. The, uh, Cover. It come off in your hand? No, I had to take it off. <laughs> All right. Are you still recording? I am. I am. The, uh, you know the thing into the bathroom? Yeah. The vent into the shower? Yes. You know we keep getting them little... Uh, little, little bits of... Needles. Yeah. Yes. That bad, eh? I need the hoover. Okay. I'll it's, get it for you. It's, uh, yeah. It's full of tiny bits, dear. It would be. Okay. That's the roof done. So the next thing is do the rest of it. First of all, let me just get my tool. Uh, I do like my Ryobi tools. First of all, we'll give her a wash down with the uh, power washer. Wash the worst of the bird lime and the dust off. There we go. And once we've done that, we'll um, give her a bit of a scrub with the, I uh, don't know what you call this, the green, fuzz, the green fuzzy brush. And again, this has got some of the Phoenix Caravan Cleaner in here. This is what we tend to use for the giving the body work a wash.
and there's the finished article that's after a wash and a polish still got the wheels to do but the uh, still got the wheels to do put the uh, tyre black on and then <laughs> there's Drax and then uh, check the the tyre pressures we use just about see that yeah we use tyre pals we have them on all the vehicles and we have a sender unit in the cab so uh, as we're going down the road we can monitor the tyre temperatures and tyre pressures I've had two blowouts while I've been driving and it's uh, not nice so there we go yeah all done for now so here's Lady Nut with the next lot of food Dog. And the dog. Dog's got to be in on everything. So Sue brings everything out in the little packing cases or the crates rather and then transfers them all to the cupboards. And big dogs, oh he's excited. He's excited. We're going out in the truck. Apologies for the noise. Someone uh, next door but one's having their drive pressure. done. The pressure washed. So There we are, I've got out our to-do lists, so we don't need this one this time because this one is all to do with, that's all to do with Monte. So that one is not needed, so that one can go away. And then the rest we go through and as we do each of the jobs, we slice them off and say right, okay, that's it. When everything's green, we can go. Easy. What do you say Lady Nut? We are the, the light is as put, shown in a previous vid the light is now working yay you're happy about that aren't you lady nut yes it does make life a little easier at night yeah. and, uh, all that lot to put away and then food in the first three four five cupboards <laughs> Yeah, we do take a lot of food with us normally. We are on this trip because yeah. we're not got a, we're yes. not got the car and we're not going shopping. Yes. This one I'll be uh, I'll be working so we won't be going out, we'll be staying in. This is what we've done so far. Roof skylights are down, sat systems stored, bedroom cupboards are all locked, under bed storage is all locked, TV in the bedrooms pinned back and locked, TV in the lounge is pinned back and locked, shower doors are locked, shower head placed on floor. Toilet shut, all cupboards locked, doors shut and closed. Sink infill plates done, all the kitchen cupboards are locked and shut. Pan cupboard is locked and shut. Dogs harnessed up, not yet. No, so, in here for the night. so yeah, this is the, that's tomorrow's job. <laughs> and nuts on tour dog guard, it's at the front, but that's not done yet. The awning's in, solar lights off and stored, water pipes done, gas is off. Electric, no, we still looked up Cots freezers on tonight. We put all the food in. Engine, no, we haven't got any of that. EMP is retracted because we haven't had it on at home. And then air suspension to set and all that lot. So that's us done for tonight. Next thing, check the engine. So we go in there now. So before we go with Jenny, we have a few checks to do. So power steering fluid. A min and a max, you can just see it in the window there, so that's okay. Dot four braking. Again, min and a max. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Header tank for radiator. There is a min and a I think the max is that one, so normally it's filled to that wide. And this one, which you can see is full to the brim, I've already filled that up. That one is your windscreen washer. We have to keep that fill. Yeah, this fills here, but this one has got a rather nice little spout that pulls all the way yes. out. So that's mm -hmm. quite a, uh, quite a, rather than trying to get things yeah. in there, that's quite a nifty idea. But the, 
the spray on this thing is all the way it's a lorry one so it's all the way along the bar it's not just a little spray it's all the way it's brilliant and then the last one is hidden away around the back I don't know if you can see that if you can see my finger mm -hmm. that's the oil dipstick so pull that one out I do this by feel <laughs> yeah all oh, the rest of it's all clean it's just the last little bit and the last little bit as you can see nearly at the top yeah. So give that a wipe. I did splodge, so give that a wipe. Yeah, this one's on a oh, ratchet. A little ratchet bit to make it easy to get out. Mm -hmm. And then that feeds into the little, there's a little pipe at the back. I'm afraid I can't show you because it won't photograph. But drop that in, put it in, pull it back out, and yeah, yep. just at the top, exactly where it's supposed to be. So yeah. Jenny's only recently been serviced, so uh, I expected it to be spot on. But uh, yes, the others. Mm. And then uh, check everything over, everything's tight, there's no rattles, no plugs, all the, uh, yeah, all the pipes are in place, all the tie wraps are in place, the air filter cover's in place, there's nothing hanging down, uh, no loose wires or anything. No bracketry broke. Yep, all and good. They're mighty big. Yes. Air horn. <laughs> 120 decibel uh, air horn. Them for them that can't hear us. <laughs> well, if I had to say one little criticism of Jenna, her, her little horn, what I call her town town horn. She has a town horn in the country, but her town horn on the motorway is a little. <laughs> when you get people in things jumping in in front of you and trying to pull out in front of you and the little bee, bee no just not man doesn't, enough doesn't really do it no so the 120 decibel air on that sort of you know they, they notice that yeah. it does make a few jump in the next county normally <laughs> <sighs> but there you go so yeah the tire pals i showed you those yeah we have them on each of the wheels yeah. Yeah. six and with Monty, them four as well. Yeah. In here, Come on. we have. Mind. This is our tyre pal monitor. It's uh, not plugged in at the moment, so it'll run on the battery. But there you have. It shows the six wheels of Monty, the six uh, the six wheels for Jenny, sorry, and the four wheels for Monty. Now. So it saves the batteries and the batteries aren't running all the time. They work on centrifugal force. So when they stood, they turn themselves off. But when we get going, as soon as they get to like 15, 20 mile an hour, they come on and they display the temperature and the pressure each of the tires is at. And if it, you can set high and low alarms. So if the pressure is too low, it puts up an alarm. If the, if it, as they get warm, as you're going down the road, as it gets warm, the pressure increases, so you can have an under pressure, over pressure, over temperature. So they're, uh, yeah, I've had a couple of blowouts and they frighten the living bejesus out of me, so uh, I think this is a very, very, very good system. And plus, if we had a blowout on Monty at the back, he's eight and a half meters away if he had a back tire it's all nearly nearer ten and a half meters you wouldn't know because it's not like you can going down the road in a car and you feel it going da dum da dum da dum da dum so <laughs> uh yes i like i like the ability having the ability to uh to check the tires i think that's uh, definitely a, a good safety aspect but that's it now we are ready to rock and rumble all we've got to do is come out in the morning and uh, harness the dogs up. Their uh, their harnesses are all, well, their that leads does. are already here and connected up to the seat belts and that ready to go and uh, pull out. That's it. Off we go. <laughs>